안녕하세요. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the understanding of Korean sentence structure. I will point out five key characteristics of Korean sentence structure that I hope will help you to better understand in your learning process. Number one, predicate is always at the end of sentence. These are the basic Korean sentence formats. Subject plus noun 이다. Subject plus adjective. Subject plus verb. Subject plus object plus verb. Number two, predicate is conjugated such as 이다, adjective, and verb. English speakers are often confused on the predicate adjective. In Korean, adjective acts like verb and is conjugated. It doesn't require be verb like English. These endings show grammatical information and roles, such as speech politeness, tense, sentence types, conjunctive ending types, and so on. Number three. Particles serve as grammatical elements and are important. Particles indicate the grammatical information and the roles. They provide flexibility in the sentence structure. Apart from that, they also serve additional meanings to the sentence. We'll cover this in the later episode, so do stay tuned. Number four, subject is often omitted when the subject is obvious. In comparison to English, Korean is a high context language, and it relies more on context and sheer assumptions or nonverbal signs. For example, instead of saying "I go to school," you just say "go to school." And it will be understood on what is said. When the subject is clearly understood or the context is obvious enough, the subject is dropped. Number five, honorific expressions. In Korean language, uses both honorific and humble forms in accordance to age, social status, and social intimacy. This influences the words being used in the sentence. Also, pronouns of subject such as 너, 당신, 그, 그녀, and 그들, they are usually not spoken. Instead, names and titles with suffixes are being used. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And please do like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. See you in the next video. 감사합니다.